Today we have a Devil's Edge Gladius, the Mermillo Gladius. You'll notice it's one of the shorter of the Gladius, paired with a Roman shield. Very similar to a Legionary Gladius. Notice the very pointy tip, double edged blade. For a length of 25 and 3 quarter inches. Primarily, this being used, this would be used with a shield. Primarily a thrusting blade. These are 1095 high carbon steel, just as all Devil's Edge products are, all the way from the short knives all the way up to the short swords that we have available here. The blade length itself, this double edged blade, is 18 and 5 8 inches, from the tip all the way to the guard. Notice the brass plates right at the end of the, uh, the blade right here by the handguard. Then we'll see that the handle, we have a hardwood covering the top of the guard. That way that your hand doesn't slide up and thrusting, either on the thumb side or on the index finger side. The handle is bone. We have the handle carved out. That we have a solid grip. It's not tapered at all, not really at least. The bottom near the pinky is a little bit thicker. So let's get some close-ups of it, take a look at what we've got here. Up a forehand thrusting, underneath to the groin, over the top of the head, to the face area. This, this motion here, especially if you have the shield up top or in front of you. Just a leather scabbard, it's all stitched up, both sides. We have the loops here. If you wanted to hang this, you can hang it off of the belt, right underneath the belt line on both sides. The loops are riveted. They're rivet, riveted and stitched onto the, the, uh, the rest of the scabbard. It's sandwiched with a little bit extra leather right here. That way it doesn't cut through when you put it in and out of the scabbard. And there's no wood core to this because you can see this is just leather. Be very careful with when you're putting this in the sheath, especially for how pointy the tip is. So it's really important that when you slide this in, be very careful with your fingers. This is what it looks like. We'll see we have a dark leather scabbard that complements the handle. Fits in nice and smooth. Point of balance on this blade is four and a half inches from the guard. Yeah, just about like, eh, it's a little, about four and a half inches. Looks like it's a little bit closer actually. But either way, it balances well. The weight on this blade is one pound, 15.9 ounces. We'll notice on the handle, like we said before, it's a bone grip. Forefinger is in place right here. That way when you're thrusting, the hand does not slide up. On the reverse, when you're pulling the thrust out, we'll see the heel of the hand. It's actually constructed to where it pulls a little bit. That way it stays in your hand in retention. The pommel is actually a nut construction. You'll see it protrudes out a little bit. That's how it's constructed. Nice and solid after doing cut testing, which we're gonna to go to in a little bit, but um, no movement in the handle or anything. The tip is nice and nice and broad. It doesn't bow out or anything like the, the, the uh, traditional ones do. Look at it to test the blade when you thrust, should be pulling back out, which is why the handle is designed the way it is, so that way the hand doesn't slide. These are kind of dry. Yeah, I see the water didn't go all the way through on it. That's what's up. Look at that. All right, so we took a look at the Devil's Edge Mermillo Gladius. We saw some specs on it, some close-ups of this blade, close-ups of the scabbard. And then we went and did some cut testing with it. And we saw how this thing functions. It's sharp right out of the box. On to Tommy Mats. If you want to do your own safe cut testing, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Click that link for the Tommy Mats. In the meantime, we're gonna be doing more reviews of Devil Edge products. So if you want to Tommy Mats, if you want to do your own safe cut testing just like this, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. Click that link to grab the Tommy Mats. If you like this blade, go ahead and leave a comment below on what you like about it. 
Uh, stay tuned for more Devil's Edge blade reviews. And as the weather's getting better, we'll be moving back into spears and pole arms. Please leave your requests in the comments below. Share these videos. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll talk to you soon.